Hey guys, welcome to Robo Circuits. In one of my live streams, you may have seen me designing PCB for the live follower robot using the new Raspberry Pi Pico. And for your information, that project is completed. And here it is. In this video, we are going to see all the steps required to make this robot. We are going to order the PCB which we have designed. Then we are going to collect all the parts required for this project. Then we are going to assemble everything, solder everything. And finally, we are going to write code in MicroPython in this little Raspberry Pi Pico. And finally, we are going to test our line follower robot using the new Raspberry Pi Pico. So this video is going to be too much interesting. So watch this video till the end and I am sure you are going to learn something today. So without wasting much more time, let's get started. Let's take a quick recap of what we did on the live stream. We designed a line follower robot using the microcontroller board Raspberry Pi Pico. There were three sections of the PCB. The first one was the IR section. The second one was the motor driver section. And the last one was the Pico section. The IR section was designed using LM358 operational amplifiers, pair of IR emitter and receiver, a potentiometer and some resistance. The IR sensor of this kind can be used to determine the difference between white and black. The IR emitter throws light on the surface and the IR receiver receives it. In case of black color, the IR rays emitted by the emitter are absorbed, so output remains zero. In the case of white color, the IR rays are deflected back and received by the receiver, so we get a high output. Coming to the motor driver section, the motor driver section includes L293D motor driver IC and connectors for the motor and battery. L293D is based on H-Bridge. If you want to get more information about the motor drivers, I have a link in the description. You can check out that. The Raspberry Pi section includes Raspberry Pi, a 3.3 volt voltage regulator. Pi works on 3.3 volts, so we used a voltage regulator AMS1117. If you want to see it full from start to end, then you can check out my live stream. That link will also be available in the description of this video. And if you cannot find it there, then you can go to my channel. First of all, let's order the PCB from jlcpcb.com which is also the sponsor of this video. First of all, we have to get the fabrication file. Go to fabrication and click on get PCB fabrication files. Then you will find a link which states order at jlcpcb. Click on it. Now jlcpcb order page will open automatically. Verify your dimensions and select the number of PCBs you want. Select surface finish and finally click on add to cart. Now let's check out. Fill in your details and pay using PayPal. Fun fact, with over 10 years of experience in PCB manufacturing, JLC PCB has more than 2 lakh customers. Over 8000 online orders of PCB prototyping and small quantity PCB production per day. After a week, I got the PCBs. The matte black color which I chose looks awesome. These are the all the components required for this PCB. Let's see a quick time lapse of the soldering process.
the salting process is complete and the robot is finally prepared and it looks stunning we have mounted the ir pair on the bottom side of the pcb so that they can check the surface color easily now the last task is to program the pico for reading values from the ir sensor and drive the motors let's open vs code first to program pico you will need pico go extension installed in your vs code if you want more information on how to program pico then you can check out my tutorial series on the pico first of all we will import pin from the machine library then we will import time we will define pin number 2 and 3 as input pin number 4 5 6 and 7 as output then we will run an infinite loop using while first of all we will read the input from the pin number 2 and 3 then we will define if sensor 1 and sensor 2 both are detecting white then the robot must go on if sensor 1 is detecting black and sensor 2 is detecting white then we will turn right and vice versa if both the sensors detect black then the car will stop so this is the basic code for it then using the if statement we will run our motors by setting pins high or low if you want a detailed explanation check out the article which i have published on the same the link is also in the description finally let's upload this code to the pico go and test it i had this paper from df robot which is made for testing a line follower robot Let's test it on it. And it worked fine. The LFR follows the black line. I programmed it to stop working when both the sensor touch black. So on this side of paper it stops at every intersection. So that was it for this video. Hope you liked this video. If you like it then hit the thumbs up button share with your friends and if you still have any doubts you can feel free to ask in the comment section or ask me directly on Instagram I am going to make more projects using the new rose verify pico if you want to watch them all then hit the subscribe button and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notification for my upcoming videos thank you for watching and have a nice day